Good morning. So uh, we're here at Gas Monkey. It's a beautiful day, and it's beautiful also because of what's behind the camera guy. So uh, if you've been watching the video, then you know that we went up to Minnesota to try to make a deal on pretty much one of the weirdest collection of cars and boats and, and golf clubs and, and tricycles and I don't even know what all we bought. There was a lot of stuff there. So now we're gonna get started unloading these cars, taking a look. <laughs> we're flipping for $100 bills right now while we wait for the sun to get more out there. Anybody got any coins? I don't carry change. <laughs> Penny's fine. We need three coins. There we go. All right. So are we going to do whoever gets heads? And then yeah, two out of three? Us. I know. Huh? And then just keep going. Yeah, it's uh, even stays in and so odds let's, out. let's say heads. If you get tails, you're out. Heads, you stay in. OK. So heads is in and tails is out. Yep. I'm tails. This is Tails. <laughs> Wait, I'm here chicken dinner! <laughs> that was easy. Bullshit, these coins just are flawed! Made, just made I don't know what's wrong with these coins. I'm already up. Sweet. I'm just leaving the bed. I might take the truck with me. <laughs> Freaking hell. Now I'm down 200 bucks. 100. 100. Well, no, technically I'm down 200 about no, one. No, you finally realize you're a loser for once in your life. <laughs> So uh, Sean says, uh, and so does uh, Owen, that we have to have some kind of snow boot or something. What the hell is this? Some kind of snow air Jordan? These are snow boots. All right. I'll wear them. When in Rome, this is what we do. Golly. And you're sure these boots are what I wanted? You're going to want those boots. All right. Let's go have some fun. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> I don't think he was happy about that. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. He didn't like it? No. <laughs> I've always wanted to throw a snowball at a cop car. All right, so we had to work off. Actually, we didn't have to work all through the night. Chase and Sean had to work all through the night because I needed to get back to Dallas. And um, so we got everything moved from Troy's location over here to Motor Soda. And the purpose of this trip is to try to figure out what I have, what's worth transferring down to Dallas, what's worth just sending to uh, Copart or something like that here in uh, Minnesota and just getting rid of, and what Owen or somebody that's here and see the stuff might want. So first up, I got a big ass boat. This is a big boat. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be helping me. You three. I am, I'm talking to the transport. Yeah, they're, they're I told you it was a big boat them. and to knock the number off. So this is a 29 foot twin screw Larson 2000 model. Uh, winterized, we have the canopy, right? Yep. So this is actually a good boat. Fired up. Did we fire up the generator too? There is no generator. I thought it had the switch down in the cabin. I didn't see one. Yeah, there's one in there. It might not be there. What year Larson is it? 2000. So it's a 2029 foot cubby cabin. It's got a it's got a bathroom? Yeah, it's a bathroom. And a shower. And a shower. Sleeps so, four. Sleeps four. Yeah, it's got a cabin back here. It's got twin five O's in it. Up there. <laughs> In the living room, in the middle. Volvo Pentas. Ford 5 O's? Uh, no, no, Volvo. No, they're, Volvo. Okay. They're, they're I mean, uh, what's this? Uh, uh, ben, you're, you're, the, you're the lake expert here. What's this thing worth? Hard to say. I would say uh, probably close to 30 grand. <laughs> what? Well, in my opinion, what I know in Texas about boats, like this is a $20,000 boat all day, every day. In yeah. wintertime, 
different story. Okay. On Lake Minnetonka, this is a desirable piece, I can tell you that much. So well, then, can you find somebody that'll buy it? I've already put the word out. Okay. Well, it's a good boat. It's been taken care of. It's not being taken care of right now. No, That's why we're here. We're trying to figure out what's up. So I got that. We got a title on yes, that? Yes, we do. Okay. Ben, I would assume this is worth, what, 2500 Yep. It's steel. It's not an aluminum trailer, but it's a trailer. This one needs to go back to Dallas. And what was Troy's problem with always backing into stuff? I don't know. That's not a whiskey dent. That's like he got pissed off and hit it with a hammer to open the hood because he didn't realize the latch is underneath and he had to get on his knees. Okay, so I, I don't know. Here we, this is a 60... Five. This is a 66. Five. 66. Five. Now this car he bought at auction, right? Yes, this was Barrett. at Barrett Jackson. So this is a nice, nice GTO that just needs to be taken care of and prepped. Sean, what do you think the number is on this? Because I'm, I, I know what my number is. Twenty-five. Really? That's exactly my number. You're the owner. Write a check. <laughs> Are you a buyer at twenty-five? Yeah. Oh shit! It's yours. We don't have to move that to Texas. Then. We don't know yet. CDs, boats, okay, let's go. Cadillac Eldorado. So we got this fishing boat here. What too. about this sweet ass Eldo, man? So this Eldorado, this is a low mile. It's got fur that you can relate to on the passenger seat. Sweet! How much is this fucking $400 junker? Well, the windshield says 1888. I don't know if that's the year. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what? fishing boat. This is just straight up put around. What's this worth out here, Ben? Thousand bucks? Uh, yeah, fifteen hundred, two grand maybe. This thing runs. You gotta love the uh, little bent tongue here. Yeah, the tongue's a little bent up. Now we got this sweet, sweet limo. Oh yeah. It's actually pretty clean. The only dent I found on it was the trunk. Why the trunk is? Ben up, right where it is. It's, that's oh, that's Troy. He runs into everything. I, I sold I don't Troy. Understand why. You sold this to Troy. The first day we here. bought it at the auction. But why? We all went out the first night we got it. We came home and uh, it got stolen that night when we got home. So somebody slammed the trunk so hard. That I don't know. Or somebody got their face bashed into it. Or there's Richard no has a position. Hey, there's know. no scratches well, in the it. paint. So for a dent to happen like that, it had to have been soft. This thing was pristine when I gave it to Troy. Well, the inside is still pristine. This is the it's, only part. There's that... nothing pristine about an early 2000s Lincoln limo. I don't care. You and I used to party in cars like this. Before Uber and stuff. Oh, okay. You know, well, that's yeah. when you had to rent a limo to go out on the town for the night because you couldn't just dial up. Well, a... people are still nostalgic about stuff, you know? I mean, people, there's going to be an ass for this seat, and there's actually multiple seats, so there's multiple asses for this I, car. I, I would assume that this car's worth. 8500 bucks. I was going to go around 10 grand. So the Nolan Special Ford LTD, about 67, 68 doors. Obviously. This thing runs. We got 390 years. This runs and drives. This runs and drives. But it's a four door. Too many doors. That's its problem. And the Falcon is actually fairly clean for what it is. It is really clean, no rust. It's all solid. Absolutely really cool. But too many doors. Too many doors. Nolan? What is that? About a 65? You need 62 or 3, I think that one is. Yeah, it's an early. Yeah. You know, the funny thing about, you know, all the time I worked with uh, a certain bearded wonder, he told me how he hated, hated Mustangs. Do you know what a Falcon is? It's a Mustang. Holy cow, there's so much shit here. So, another boat. What is this? A formula. This is a Falcon. No, no, it's form a formula. 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 So you're a pretty bad dude back in the day if you had one of these, especially with the spare. Who mounts their spare to the top of the boat? <laughs> I mean, it's for the trailer, obviously. <laughs> well, I know, but is it just sitting there? Or is it mounted? No, it's just sitting there. Okay. I was like, come on. Uh, ben, you're my resident boat expert. This is kind of a feeder, I would assume. Yep. This is. Uh, it's no it's a 1983 permit. formula oh, it Thunderbird. Thunderbird. What's well, this one? I work. believe that's the Ford Power <laughs> with a Merc Cruiser Series 1. Am I What's correct on that? 3,500 in the spring. In the spring. What Steel about this? Tandem axle. Whoa! Oh, this thing is... This here is what we call uh, rust in Texas. That's called rust. That's here it's just called 
Well, it ain't there. This is what well, you don't talk a, about. Save it with a heater. Oh. <laughs> well, the price just went down. No warranty expressed or implied. No, no that didn't work. Hardly used, driven to school, only for a little old lady that taught school. Well, yeah. I remember when I wanted one of these. Convertible. You wanted one of these? I think I did back in the day. You know, it's Chrysler is always freaking coming up with something cool. I don't know if Troy got a hold of this one because it's on a donut and it's got issues in the back. I think it's got issues in the front too. Other than that, it's blue. It's got a couple of issues, Sean. Um, just pointing out. I mean, that looks like oh, that it could be an issue. That will buff out. And then this, this is amazing. We're thinking that this might be a cash maker in the this whole set. Because this is a, uh, a Volvo motor? Kohler. 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 Okay. And we were looking on the internet. We're seeing these things for sale anywhere from 25 to 50. Yeah, I think we're going to make money off of this one. There's no we in this equation. You just work for us. Well, I have to insert myself somewhere. There's the we. <laughs> I think we could actually drive this out there. Um, this guy has your problem. Like he deleted the muffler, but the muffler's still here. Well, who cares? But can't we get this no, thing started saying, and go out there across always, that field? Aren't you always bitching about mufflers? I hate those big mufflers. Well, there's they a suck. muffler. Okay, so we got an avalanche. Yeah, that's John. Who does this to a vehicle? Somebody who likes 3-2 vehicles. I don't know what the duct tape is for. Now we're moving into something a little bit more of my territory, even though I bought all this crap. Uh, what is this? Did we, did we determine what this was? It's 74? 74. 74. 74. Charger. Charger, bitch, seat. Literally, uh, all the plugs are out of it. Yeah. No, God, no. Okay. Just had to throw that out. Now, everybody knows this is the ugly kit. And uh, we, we we built this on the show. Uh, Troy bought it at Barrett Jackson for what, 35? 35. Uh, oh, he no. has subsequently maybe blown the motor, we don't know. The motor's in 30 pieces. This needs to come back to the shop. For sure. Actually, there's a box that I'd love to say that we have on the shelf, but you have. You have on the shelf a box for this car still. I do. Which is kind of awesome. I did. Now this so is the parts to fix it. This is coming back to shop. GTO is coming to shop. Um, what have you? Uh, this is just a. This is Troy's shop truck. This is like worse than bad. What's this worth? Fifty bucks? Trailer and golf cart with charger. But it looks like it's torn apart. Is this the That's part the of the motor? motor? So this golf cart is a mechanic special, and. I have a mechanic that already wants to buy it from you. Oh, does Chase want this? Yes, he does. Okay. You guys will have to discuss the number. Well, uh, yeah, but I mean, these things bring 25, 3,500 bucks. It needs at least $3,000 to make it run and drive again. Well, then why wouldn't you just buy an one that runs and drives? You'll have to ask Chase that question. He wants it. Now let's talk about the red rocket. Here we go. Oh, this is Sean's baby. Sean loves this truck. He wants it. This all started with the night that we rented the ambulance to drive us around. We didn't night. rent the ambulance. I bought the ambulance well, and we, we rented your, the driver. your crazy ass got in the driver's seat and we were in the back all drinking beer. So technically I didn't do anything wrong, but you were being an idiot. But, oh well. Hey, as long as y'all had me at my bail, the lights and sirens worked. I will always bail a friend out of jail if they did something stupid. If you did something criminal, you're staying. Well, that did was, something dumb. That was kind of crazy. But okay. This had a 383 stroker in it. I bought it at auction on a drunk buy. Um, it rumbled through the auction house. It's got up suspension. It's obviously been chopped four inches. It's 90s. Whoever built this car was in the 90s. So it's Viper Red. The motor blew within two weeks. So it now has, and this is the fun fact, the drivetrain out of the ugly kid is in this truck so we have numbers matching for the ugly kid right here but the truck is running off the powertrain of the ugly kid fun fact this thing i'll actually get it or used to so i'm going to sell you this truck back for the same price you bought it for five years ago all right it needs that much work 
done to it. This is a Mercedes S Class. No, uh, Owen. So this one, we have a buyer for it. I don't know if you want the number, but at this point, I'd say take the number. What is it? A thousand bucks. Fuck that. I'll buy the fucking drive train for that. Tell Who me would I... give me a thousand dollars for this? Kevin would. He's standing right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, 30s model Chevrolet. Yeah, this is 34. The gangster of the bunch. Pretty clean, not rusty. This worthless a, because it's a Chevrolet. The difference between Ford and Chevrolet collectibles from the early 30s, late 20s, early 30s, is uh, Chevrolet didn't hold up as well as Ford because of the uh, wood inside the body holding it together. And also, it just sucked. But this is a clean car. Um, this will bring five or six grand, seven grand all day long. Again, a freaking dent. Are you serious? What is wrong with this guy? Oh my god, it's because of the wheel. Okay, this we know is worth uh, some money. Just a little uh, Polaris. Our friends at Polaris made this a long time ago. But uh, it's a fun little vehicle. These are probably in the $4,000 range, right? Yeah, yeah I sold this that to Troy. Drove. I saw him drive it the other day. Did we find the title on this, Owen? Yes. Okay, so we have the title to this. There's another thing I said to Owen and this Ben truck? and Sean. We need to sell this up here. What about that? That's, that's yeah, fine. I didn't think so. We have these two motorcycles, the one that everybody autographed, and then the Coleman. Here Those goes. I want back at the shop. So here's where the story is fun. So actually, Owen, I'll let Owen tell the story on how we met Troy in the first place. Hey, I ever met him. He was my neighbor. And uh, I went over there and had a beer with him. And he's like, you want to flip? And I said, sure. I won this on a coin toss, drove it home, and I get home, my wife's like, whose is that? And I said, I just won it on a coin toss. And she goes, you gotta take it back. And I'm like, so I took it back the next morning and he, here it is now. So, <laughs> so the insert, I have, we have another buyer for this one already. So technically you think it's yours? I was hoping so. <laughs> kind of a It's got a weird. dealer plate on it. Well, this is another thing you, what you call it, a heater with a beater or whatever? Beater with a heater. With a heater. I don't know. Can't keep up with and the none of these are four wheel drive. They're whole thing. Well, this car's got to be worth eleven or twelve, running and driving. Thousand? Huh? Thousand? Eleven or twelve thousand? That's what I'm saying, right? I, I don't no. see why not. No. I'm going with the price on the window. What's on the window? Like five? Does it say five for real? Like, reveal that price. What is There's the, the price? Other yes. frozen. Side. Nobody knows. Oh. So six thousand dollars. <laughs> that's third row. That's down payment money. Oh, you're actually right. This is what about this? That's also good. Rusty truck again. Now the Model A's are real nice. I know there's two of these. Well, there's the other one. Uh, this is a thirty. That's it. Well, this is a thirty-one. Uh, thirty, and that's a twenty-nine. Uh, so these go back home for sure. For sure. Uh, why did we not get the other tractor? So, if you remember the deal, he only gave portion of the money to him, and when he started to reminisce on losing all of his stuff, um, he seen us loading up the other tractor and whatnot, and he said, no, gotta, gotta stay. Okay. Well, obviously we wired him the rest of the money and we're not gonna get it. All right, so we got this tractor, That's which it. I don't even know. Wait, this is the nicer of the two. Okay, and the Model A's. My lays are nice. These are good cars. Chase running into the building. There's the truck. Yeah. Everything's there. 1996. Spot on. They're actually really, really fun. And then, what's the story on the Corvette? What do we have? Well, it's got a whiskey down here. Shocker. Um, salvage title. Is this a 99 too? Also? Oh, and you could have rolled the windows up for me on the Mercedes. I, know, yeah. I was in Florida, oh. sorry. Okay. Um, I think your guys, because they're not my guys, should build one of those carts out of this thing, because that's all these Corvettes are worth. Oh, the little race carts? Yes. Yeah. Delete everything and make it, put headlights on and make a dune buggy and they're fast as hell. Okay. 
Well, let's go in and have a beer and think about what oh, we got to do. Wait, what? Do you remember that? Yeah, that was mine. I sold it to you. Yeah. I have no use for it. And in your building. I'll take it back for free. What did you give me for that anyways? 3,800 bucks. Holy shit, Sean told me he gave me two grand. I knew something was <laughs> off. I'll give you an 80 inch TV to comp to you. Name this one, the Elegance. Last but not least, right? The Elegance. I mean, this thing has so much custom work on it, it's not even funny. We thought it was a 1500, it's 2500. So it's an eight lug. It's got a big block in it like your old Avalanche. So it literally does have balls. You gotta get the keys. No, I ain't worried about it. Um, I mean, I might be worried about it. The guy. Ask him where the keys are. What is this? Is this oh, you got the keys. Is this That's the step. A step? Yes, this is a step to step up. This is a step for a step, step, stepper? Yeah, and so when you offer it, it literally does this. And obviously, he didn't offer it because he didn't fuck up the car. So, since we pictured this and put it on the old interwebs, I've had a lot of uh, uh, calls and stuff. And the Would original, you call it traction? The original builder uh, that, that bought this truck brand new, he took this truck brand new to the dealership and started doing this. Really? Yes. And there's a lot of ghost images in the flags that, uh, that mean things that, that are like hidden. He was describing some of it on a text message that I didn't really understand. Well, there's a middle finger. There's, yeah, there's some of his kids. There's a middle finger right there's, there. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of different wow, stuff. that's cool. Uh, it's definitely dated. What? So what do you do? You know, you got to step, step, and step. There you go. Do we know what this does? This horn thing. That's that door opener. Well, I know, but oh, I mean, look okay. at the paintwork on this. To go all the way into the door jams and everything else with the paintwork, he took this whole thing completely apart. So, what we learned is, I was trying to figure out the other day, last week, there's no switches. It's all clean. Like there's nothing. Yeah. So here's here's the airbag. So pick it up six inches or drop it six inches. It goes up from here. Uh, yes. So it'll literally go up six inches. More. So how do we go up? I don't know. It says it has low washer fluid. It probably does. <laughs> so yeah, it's got airbags. Now Chase says when he followed me leaving Troy's that he watched it air up and I could feel I got taller. Heads, I win. I didn't know we were betting. I'll do it again for a hundred. <laughs> well, can I drive this thing? Go ahead. Yeah, it's yours. Well, get in here, Sinjin. Social media, get in the back, dude. On the dash. See, This thing too. is so rad. I cannot wait until we pull this thing up to Daphne. Gonna We're gonna put stockies on it. Freaking hell, man. We're gonna put stockies on it and it'll fit. This thing. I hope so I'm good. going the right way. Well, and don't go, I mean, you can go the other way, actually. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I love it. I love ridiculous. <laughs> I think I've, my wheels were spinning. Hey, that's your seatbelt, social millennial, uh -huh. so it won't quit dinging? I don't know. Do you have your seatbelt too? Look, he's actually cleaning your lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Get rid of all the weeds. So the dinging won't stop? No, not until you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Is it four wheel drive? Yes. Yeah. So we're in two wheel drive. Like you literally run shit over like that mountain in front of us. I believe we would turn over. No, we would not if you hit it straight. <laughs> okay. Should I call the neighbor and see if we can drive in his Just boat? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
the fun factor, this thing's worth a hundred thousand. <laughs> Daphne, here we come. <laughs> Here's your new company car. Daphne bitches about getting into our 2500. What do you think she'd do about uh, getting into this? Ken would break a hip. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is just what a smile on my face. Pure enjoyment. Why did it stop the second that we got up on, on the hill? I don't know what's going on. So, I actually have a monster truck that races on, in the arenas, but I've never had one on the road, so this is pretty cool. And I learned all that skillful driving because I went to Monster Truck University. That's right, you did. All right, well this is interesting. That's a big ass hitch. You can learn a lot about a man by the size of his hitch. Well, is it the size of his ball? No, nope, hitch. All right, so let's go in and warm up, figure out who wants what and how and what I'm selling, what I'm taking. Uh, I think I got a pretty good idea so far, but uh, gonna be interesting. Yellow truck's kind of fun. And I do like the idea of messing with my sister Daphne when I get it back to the shop, so that could be a good time. Do we go in here? Yes. All right, cool. To my associated band of misfits. Uh, we got to figure out what we're taking home so that uh, Mr. Bailey there can get on with his life today and uh, What who wants what? I'm taking offers. So we're starting at the top. What's going home? Yeah. Um, what do we do about getting that big yellow truck home? We put stockies on it's it. It's got a flatbed. It don't. No, you put stockies on it Drop it down the foot. You can either do that or you could probably put it. It would take two spots on the top back It takes up one spot if you put stockies on it. I'm pretty uh, sure he knows what he's talking about. I don't know about you. Well, I, I actually kind of know what I'm talking about because I've only been doing it during this whole whatever you call it. We have stock tires. Up here. I think actually Humvee wheels and tires would fit on it. But then you got to tie then you got to tie off the, the actual tires. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. That goes underneath. Or in the bed. I kind of think it's funny. It's funny. And that's a huge like look at that. Like it's, everybody's going to want to take a picture with it. It's ridiculous. Owen's already getting pictures taken with it. Well, he's not a very good freaking motor soda salesman because it had already been gone. Well, we didn't, we didn't know. Well, I didn't want you to come here and have it be missing. Well, I'd rather have a stack of cash. What do we think it's worth? I think 50 grand all day long. It's that so one's dated. Not seasonal. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's so wicked cool. 2000? It's an 02, I think. Troy was asking 70 for it. Yeah, I think 50 grand. Well, Troy didn't get 70, did he? Then we got to get the GTOs, the Model A, That's the Chevrolet, the um, the airboat, the truck wagon, the the ugly, ugly kid, kid wagon, the. All right, well, let's just start here. What's this worth to you, Owen? I don't have to move this. Not worth much to me. I'm sure that I could get. 5,500, six for it, roughly, give or take. So cool, so give me seven, it's great. But it's not my cup of tea, though. What do you mean? It's four wheel drive and it's got holes in it. I don't like these this is I'm not a 6 0 guy. Is that the airboat? Yeah. Airboat's running. We got the airboat going. Oh, I'm going out in that field. Oh, all right. All right no, no, let's do this I don't know how to drive it. Does anybody it's know how to drive tank. an airboat? It's a tank and then pedals. Five K. It's a tank and pedals. Okay. We're gonna go for a ride in an airboat, I think. <laughs> that's gonna be amazing. We could die. You gotta get it off the trailer. Should probably drink a couple of beers because that's what people do when they go in airboats, right? Going, you want the limo? Yeah, I'll take the limo. How much is that? Know. I don't know. Probably sounds like it's gonna. Give it to me that Saturday. I think well, I mean, if he's transporting, it, it, it sounds like it's gonna be about transport. Be transport. I was gonna say, put it this way, I'll pay you cash on the limo and whatever it is. It's just gonna make your rate transport. Rate yeah, you know, God dang it. never do business with a guy that you got to do business with because <laughs> it never works out. <laughs> called wash. Yeah, in, insert the red truck. Let's, so let's go with that one. You're wanting seventy five. You already got paid for all your work. You invoiced. I saw that check. Actually, that was high. Actually, you haven't seen the check yet because I haven't seen the check. Well, I saw the invoice. I seen the invoices, but I yet to get paid. Fifty five hundred dollars. Twenty eight hundred of that was expenses. What? Where? The titty bar? Well, I didn't say exactly what it went towards, but it was expenses. I was out of town and it was cold. All right, we got our first deal of the day. Go to Sean Nolan, 3,000 bucks. Oh, you want to do a package deal? I like these deals. <laughs> okay, what about now? The Falcon, the LTD. Oil. And the GTO? Yeah, and this. And this. 
but this is already done. Jesus, deal. Christ, yeah. I gotta get out my calculator. The Falcon, just because it's clean and kooky, I think that's worth thirty-five to five grand. Don't you? Say four or five. And uh, same thing with the LTD, because uh, you know people, the collectors are, that do want to get into the hobby now aren't able to get into it if it's a two-door sometimes. And then the GTO, and then this. And what was the other thing? Delivery. The Charger. The Charger, yeah. The Charger, I've been watching the Mopar stuff because I follow some of my guys, uh, Mopar 5150 and uh, Red Dirt Mopars. A little shout out to my boys there. Um, I think that's worth 7,500 all day long. So what's the final number on all these cars? I can't add while I'm drinking. Uh, all right, so Sean Nolan wants to buy the two four-doors, Falcon and the Ford, and then the uh, Charger. So I'm gonna say 557, uh, which is 17. Got to discount that down, call it 15, five a piece. And then the GTO, uh, I think the GTO needs to be at 30. That's yeah, that's I, 45, I and then you got this at at three. That's 48. And was there something else you're looking at? I think so. Was there? That's it. So 48 thousand dollars plus the loader. The GTO's worth that. It actually is. It's just got the. I can't call it a whiskey down on the hood. It's got a pissed off thing on the hood. I'd probably take the GTO and this, but the Falcon that's you don't buy a pack of cigarettes, you don't buy a yeah, cigarette. You don't, you, don't, you don't get a five pack, it's a six yeah, pack. Yeah, it's a six pack. Okay, so, GTO I think is 30 all day long and you're gonna make good money there. Um, Falcon and the LTD. Even if I went down to four a piece, that's still 38. And then, 38. Right. 40. And then yes. this it makes it 41. And what was the other thing? We're missing one. The charger. The charger. The charger. Yeah. If I discount it to five, that makes it 46. What's your number? Know, let me go out and look at him again. Yeah. Oh my god. We're, oh, we're like get the, the fuck out of here, man. Balls are on the table. <laughs> was it, was it charger this is what they say. Hey, it's nut hey, cutting and, time. And, and since you just live across the river, as you said, or something like that, 45 in cash could make a difference. Yeah. I know you got that in your house. <laughs> Let me go look at it. Yeah, that was the charger. Hey, and this is where Sean Nolan used to say 40 grand cash and it's a deal. No, it's 45. But I just discounted five Nolan, G's. What are you gonna do with it? You can haul it, then you can haul a Falcon. And no, that. no, this is this is where Sean Nolan should say, 40 grand cash and I'll haul Sean your- Sean Nolan, you're only a few Model A's to you. Yeah, and I'm still awesome. buying that Blazer, bro. Model A's down What Blazer? I paid for that. Bro. Oh, you already did? Yeah. So he's coming to Minute, he's coming to Texas. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'll go 45 cash and forget about the four or 500 I'll eat for those wheels we sold. <laughs> so Sean Nolan is back in the building and we're trying to make a multi-car deal. We're talking about the GTO, the four-door Falcon, the four-door LTD with the hidden headlights, pop-ups. This is a big deal. That was an option. And then we're jumping into uh, the Charger and uh, this wonderful slightly rusted truck. Price just went down. No, it runs faster now because it's lighter weight. It's not a one ton anymore. So what's the number, Sean Nolan? $55,000, I cannot believe you said that. No. We know the GTO's worth 30 to you all day long because you'll make 45 out of it pretty quick. Then- That car will run and drive. Then I you got so. the four-door falcon and the ltd which i put in the same category they're worth 35 under four grand a piece that's so now we're at 38. then, then we've got the charger which i'm going to put it at at 7500 so if i can add right that's at 55 five or 45 five and then we add this in that's uh 3500 
we're at 50 grand. I don't know, Sean, the GTL alone is almost the number he's talking about. So yeah. everything else is free. What I gotta make a that? call. Or I fuck myself. I don't think this is fuck you yourself kind of moment. Let's go make decisions, boys. And John? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, I drag deeper than you do. Yellow truck's coming home, the big giant thing. Yes, we, we measured it, it's at nine foot tall, so we can get it home. You can get that, Mr. Bailey? Yeah, that's just like a high top sprinter, we can put it on the back. It'll have to go on the back, the tail end. So if you do, if you do a load and a half, you know, eight on one and six or seven on the other, we can throw that truck on the back. So I think Sean Nolan is digging a little uh, cheaply. Uh, trying to get the GTO and a couple of things from me. I don't even think he wants the other things. I think he's just trying to add it in to make it look like a bigger number to get this GTO. And the trans in and trucks and what have you, what I know about Dallas, um, I can offload some of this stuff to tote the note lots. The boats, I don't really care about. I think we're going to do something. Watch this. That is my truck that you're fucking fucking up even more than it was already. It's not your truck yet. It's Bullshit. This is what started the deal. This is why we are standing right here. But we'll discuss that. Are you paying to get it back? We're working on oh, that. Oh, transport. We're yeah. working on that. Uh, Mr. Bailey, can you get all this stuff to my house or my office? Oh, get it to his house. I would love to see that. Not necessarily my house, but um, why don't you count it out? Because Mr. Nolan's being stingy on the GTO, so I think I'm just going to take everything home. The boat's ain't going, right? Huh? The boat's ain't going. Boat's going. All the boats. But we can skip the boats. But I think the big Larson needs to go. That's a nice boat out on Louisville or whatever. Because uh, some of these lots have just been taking a lot of time. So instead of having you hang on hold with me for five minutes, uh, we'll, uh, I'll call you a little closer to it, okay? How long do we think? Another five or six minutes? Okay, well, let me get inside. So, uh, I'm on the phone call. They're, they got one item uh, ahead of me that's selling. So, we're waiting on them to sell the uh, Henry Winkler's uh, Fonzie bike from Happy Days. Hey, it's going to be rad. I'm trying to buy it because uh, I think it's a cool piece of art. Plus, I grew up in that uh, time frame. So, I think the bike is going to sell for more than I can pay. Not, not that I can pay, but that I want to pay. So, we'll, we'll see. But they've got a 25% premium on it. They're calling it a piece of art instead of a vehicle. So, it's not 12%. It's 25%. Uh, so, that means that hundred grand, you're 125 deep. So, we're going to have to see what happens on this one. Your 25% premium is going to keep the bidders down a little bit. That's high. So, check out GasMonkeyGarage.com because right now, you could win a car out of my collection. Just come in, pick it, take it, whatever. And you get to bring a friend or a significant other, whatever that is, and they get to pick one too. So get you some of that. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right, Sam, here we go. Stand by. There's Henry, Henry just told a story about the bike, which is quite hilarious. We are at $65,000. Is it kind of quieted down? It's not going quickly, but it's 75 next, but it's 80,000. Do you want to bid? Yes. We are bidding. It's 80,000 with you. So it's 80,000 with you. 80,000 with us. It's time to lower the hammer. 90,000 is next. It's, that's you. Do you want to bid? Can I go 87 and a half? I think I'm going to own this motorcycle. Time to lower the hammer. You said 91. The look I got is how about 92? Yep, 92. 92. We're on at 92. We're trying. It's called an auction.
Okay. Done. 96. Oh, I know. He's milking it. He's trying to see what's up. I get it. I'm trying to pay. I'm trying to pay over a hundred thousand dollars for a freaking twenty-two hundred dollar motorcycle. One hundred. One hundred thousand dollars. Tell him not to fuck with me on this and let me have it. Just let me have it. Tell him to lower the hammer. It's against you. It's against you. One hundred five. One ten is the next. It's against you. One hundred five. One ten is next. One hundred seven five. One twenty. And I'm out after that. They beat me on that. I'm just okay. walking. Okay, I, I totally take that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's against you at 125. <laughs> you you asked the auctioneer if I get if, if Richard from Gas Monkey. It's at 130. We're now at 130. 150. Just put it out there and see what happens. 150,000. Yeah, you tell Henry Winkler he's delivering it to me. I don't think. I don't know. You, I, I, might, I might get a phone call from him. No, nah, I want to talk to him. I've met him before at a couple of different events. It's at 160. You got top, but it's against us at 160. It's against us? So it's against you. It's at 165. Right it's already gone to 165? At 150, that's 37.5. I'm, I'm, I'm approaching, uh, I'm approaching 200 freaking grand. That is correct, sir. You say this to the auctioneer, that it is Richard from. Can, you can't tell him that it's Richard from Gas Monkey Garage. No, I can't. I, I can't. It's now 165 online. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can you after I win? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a 165 right now. 175. You said 175? I said 175, sir. 175. Get you some of that! It's at 180. <laughs> Against you at 180. Is the bid in the room or online? Uh, I... Online. It's online, 180. So can see with someone sitting at home. Somewhere. <laughs> Jay Leno sitting at home buying a car. 185. 185. I think the other phone bidders may have fallen out. I'm not certain. Well, they should have. Yeah, but that's like 220. <laughs> 2 230. Sold to you. Woo! Get you some of that. Listen to that room. Hey, Listen you room. I think you should tell him it's going to Gas Monkey Garage. Henry. Tell him. <laughs> tell him it's going to Gas Monkey Garage. Henry, the buyer would like to say hello. Henry, the buyer would like to say hello to you. But who's the guy who just bought the bike? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. So my name, my name is Richard Rawlings. Uh, I own Gas Monkey Garage. You might have seen us uh, around on some of the channels. And uh, I've had a few shows myself, uh, and none that I would consider as uh, successful as yours. But uh, I'm uh, very proud to be the new steward uh, of this motorcycle. Well, you know what, and we are very grateful that you are the new steward of the motorcycle. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, and, and also helping my daughter, that is just amazing. Well, it, it, was, uh, it was a little bit of a spirited bidding. I, I wish I would have got it a little cheaper, but you know, money is money and that's not life. Uh, Absolutely, but here it is. I hope you have the most wonderful holiday. We will, sir, and uh, if you're ever in Dallas, you look up Gas Monkey Garage, we'll have a good time. I promise.
promise I will. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Well, there you go. From the man himself, the Fonz. Hey, we uh, now have a quarter uh, million dollar motorcycle, including the buyer's fee. Wow. How much? With fees and everything, and then by the time it gets shipped to Dallas, quarter million dollars. Oh my God. No. It's gonna be about 245 ish, 248 ish. That wasn't your number. Well, I just got tied up in the moment. Yeah, yes. He, yeah, he's... Nice talking to you. Call you later. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we uh, just pegged about maybe 10 to 12 vehicles that aren't coming home. Everything else uh, uh, Mr. Bailey's company is going to bring home to us, and uh, including the boats and the sea dews and the whatever that we picked. And uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, meanwhile, uh, hopefully, Owen uh, here at Motor Soda can sell uh, a few of the vehicles that are left over they're decent you know for up here these are awesome look at that hardly any rust at all sean no one bought that he just ruined it sean no one did not buy this yes he did y'all agreed on three thousand no we we were trying to make a package deal he did not buy it. anyways that's it now it's time to drink beer get on a plane go to sleep get home uh eat some pizza and go back to sleep that's what i did in that order oh and I bought Fonzie's motorcycle today. What? Yeah! Get you some of that. <laughs> Boom! <laughs>